Hi everyone, thank you for watching. This is a new episode that we're going to be running every month. We're going to talk about how the interest rates went in the month before and what that means for the upcoming months. Okay, so we are in early July 2020 and June was a big month for interest rates. While rates were stuck at 2.65% for one year and 2.69% for two years, Kiwi Bank came out with a dominating marketing effort and dropped their floating rate by a full 1%. Now, at first glance, this didn't seem to be such a big announcement. Most banks give a 0.7% discount to any client who is under 80% LVR. But Kiwi Bank is still offering that discount. So what we're finding is that Kiwi Bank clients are coming away with a floating rate of around 2.7% when they were previously paying up around the mid threes. So this is a big move by Kiwi Bank. They've really dropped that floating rate and it really changes the strategy that you should be thinking about when you're going to fix your mortgage. Previously, floating rates were so much higher than fixed rates that typically people only did about ten dollars or $20,000 on a floating rate and fixed the rest. It just made sense because they were 1% to 1.5% higher, so why not fix that money? But with floating and fixed being neck and neck at Kiwi Bank, what will people do? I suspect people will still fix. There's something quite nice about knowing what you're going to be paying for the next year or two years. Because interest rates could go down and you would save a little bit of money, but interest rates could go up again. They're at an all time low. And if you had to think, you know, 0.3% doesn't really affect your mortgage, but let's say 1% affected your mortgage. What is more likely to happen? Is it more likely to go to 3.65% or 1.65%. It just seems that a big upward movement is more likely. Now I could be wrong, we're videoing this, so we'll be able to prove that I'm wrong in the future, but I think a little bit of a surety is going to help people sleep at night, so I think people will still lock in those one and two year rates. Which brings us back to the question of what are we saving? If we've got $10,000 on revolving and at one bank we're paying 3.65% and the other bank we're paying 2.65%, so 1% less, what does that mean for our savings? Well, 1% of $10,000 is $100. So essentially, by moving that revolving credit to another bank, we're saving about $2 per week. Now that's not enough to change banks. So for the majority of people, the actual savings is going to be fairly minimal if they continue to fix the majority of their mortgage. What will be really interesting in the next month or so is whether the other banks come down to meet Kiwi Bank's offer. Will they be dropping their revolving and floating accounts to be around the mid 2% or will they leave it as is and continue around the mid 3%? We're probably not going to hear very soon from the banks. They will be making their strategic decisions. But next month, I'm going to review what the banks have done in response to Kiwi Bank's new floating rate offer. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. We do about two or three of these videos a week, and it'll teach you everything you need to know about mortgages. Thanks for watching. Cheers.